I think uh, we have prepared, have, we have been preparing for 5G for some time. First is preparing our uh, non-radio layer, which is the layer for transport, layer for core, which we are preparing to get ready for 5G implementation. We are also getting ready in our NOC uh, with a lot of digitization and automation use cases, which are portable to 5G to get ready for 5G. Specifically for 5G, we know the first uh, architecture will be NSA. So we have been doing some lab trials uh, initially uh, on 5G. There were some demos done in IMC about 5G. But now we are looking forward to these trials which are coming up where we can actually radiate and test the real use case of 5G both in uh, enhanced mobile broadband or in first wireless uh, to homes. And we want that in this current trials if we can reach to some industries and do some industrial trial so that we can see a real use cases in action. I think this is what we will do for 5G. We really believe 5G can contribute to the current demands what the India needs. I think it will take time. Uh, devices are available today, but uh, for India, I think the question should not be device, question should be affordable device. I think in that light, uh, uh, affordable devices will take some time with our uh, communication with the device manufacturers. They feel the first level will be devices uh, at around 1000 or sub, slightly sub $1000. But for India level and mass, uh, acceptance of 5G, I think uh, we will need devices close to $300 at least uh, where people can then start upgrading to 5G. I think that is still uh, some time away. From architecture perspective right now, the global uh, adoption is on NSA and there are uh, moves around SA. I think it will take a couple of years at least before the SA architecture kicks in. Uh, so I think uh, it's an evolving uh, technology. Sometimes uh, technology is slower and uh, Use cases are faster. In this case, definitely technology with the hype around is coming out faster. Countries are making launches. Use cases are developing. I think individual use cases like uh, broadband or ARVR kind of applications or fixed to home is there. But industrial use cases, which is the biggest uh, benefit we are talking about 5G, is uh, still nascent. But there are some use cases in uh, some developed countries in mining industry or logistics industries, which we can also replicate in India. I think first of all for coverage, uh, India is a big country, so uh, coverage challenge has to be met. Uh, again in band there is a two parts of it, one is a very low band sub gigahertz. That doesn't give you the spectrum uh, chunks you need for 5G. So you can get a 5G presence but you will not get the whole benefit of 5G. So I think sub 6 or 3.5 as they call it is the most uh, useful band for India. It will give you in an NSA architecture a decent footprint if you bring it on to your current 4G sites. Uh, and uh, with the uplink coming from 4G, uh, the number of new requirement of new sites will not be as many as it would be if you go to millimeter wave. I think the first India sub 6 is the right move by the government to come in that domain. But quickly we should start talking about as the picks up uh, making millimeter wave available and then it can start serving the home broadband needs. So I think sub 6 is best. It does, uh, but I think we should not forget the use, uh, affordable device out of the equation. One reason why 4G devices are picking up and the consumption is up because you can actually get a device for $100. So if you can get a device for $100, it is in the hand of every consumer and they are able to consume what they want to need. But if the device price is $1,000 or $700, you will not be fine that average person will be able to afford it. I think that part of equation is there, but if that gets solved, definitely 5G will add to another boom of data in India. So I think 4G affordable devices is the one which is making, and 4G footprints across almost all nook and corners of India is making 4G really take up. I think vendors have a, a key role because they are the first partners in rolling out and they can bring in learnings very fast. While operators, we talk operator to operator, we talk to other operators in the world who have launched 5G. Uh, but I think vendors can bring in learnings of that in a market like Korea, these are the learnings, market like US is learning, UK is bringing these use cases. I think India will have to learn from all the things which are happening around the world so that we can replicate in India. So vendors play a key role, I would say. It's not just the radio vendors, I would say. The IP and the transport vendors, the core vendors, the application vendors, the automation vendors, the OSS vendors. So it's an ecosystem. They all will play a role in making 5G a success in uh, contributing to Digital India.